Welcome back to Aegis Armors. Today's video is about two-toning wheels. The first step in this process is to chemically strip the wheel down to bare metal and then do a media blast. The reason we do a media blast is to create a profile on the surface so that when the powder flows into a liquid state, it actually has a mechanical bond to the surface. The next step in the process is to apply the color that's going to be the minimal color. Um, in this case, the red that's going inside all the lettering and then doing a full cure in the oven on that. The next step in the process is to apply the secondary color in powder form. Then the tedious part of vacuuming out the areas where you don't want the top coat color. Um, this can go wrong really quickly. If that little micro tip comes out of the groove, then you basically have to blow off all the powder, reapply it and restart this process. So when you're paying somebody to do two tone wheels, understand this is where the pricing uh, goes up because this is a very difficult task to do and make it look good at the end. For this particular project, the back wheels were actually pretty easy. The whole wheel was done in a gloss black, and then just the bead lot was done in a two-tone. The front wheels were definitely a lot more intricate, as it was a single service doing the two-tone. We applied the red in the grooves and the lettering first, full cured in the oven. Then we applied the black powder, vacuumed out the grooves and all the weld racing lettering. You can see in the pictures, it's very defined with nice sharp edges. And once you see it on the car, You'll see how fantastic it really looks. And here the wheels are installed on the Mustang. Um, of course, we also did a paint correction and full ceramic coating on this car, but the two-tone wheels really set it off. Let us know in the comments what you think of the look.